Welcome back, everybody, to what very well could be the final game of this tournament. We'll have to find out. It's a fistful of tangos. It's a weekend full of tangos. Fear down 0-1. He's in the hole, but he's not out of the fight. He's not out of the fight yet. He's playing against S4 from No Tide Hunter. So Evil Genius is versus No Tide Hunter. Can someone's blood will be shed? I'm LD. He's Lumi. We're David and David. And Lumi, what are we gonna see in this game? Pretty standard item build for both sides here. Fear going for the quick bottle, or maybe quick boot to speed, depending how the game is going. And uh, as always, it comes down to the block. It comes down to the block. It comes down to possibly that Fear Courier Scout. He's very disciplined about this. I'm honestly surprised that we don't see other players who go for it. Because once you see your opponent in your lane, it's safe to scout with the Courier. And S4 was even blocking with the Couriers, which requires quite a bit of micro. So it's a little strange to me. But I guess he just has a lot of confidence. He can just get his bottle so much quicker that he wants to make sure he can ferry it out as fast as possible. So, a slight variation for S4. He's not rushing a Wraith ban. And, um, or did I say S4 was leading? I got the backwards. I'm sorry. It's Fear. It's Fear leading, right? I, yes, Fear is leading. <laughs> Wandy, Wandy. It's, been, it's been a long weekend, guys. I've slept like three hours, so I apologize. Uh, yeah, S4 leading, or down 0 1, but not out of me. <laughs> I think I think the item you go for here, if you're Viper, you rush boots, right? And you just go for it. I, I mean, That's either that or something means. like a wraith ban. I feel like the wraith ban is pretty dominant because you could just outlast hit the shadow fiend. He's not going to be able to get too many CS early, and then you get you go back for your boots. Maybe you ferry a salve or two, and then you can just control the high ground. But the boots are the other option. The thing is, you can't really zone him out of lane until you have a couple points in the poison tech, ideally level five. All right, here we go. The range creep gets a little bit misblock on the S4 side, which actually is a decent thing. Uh, but the hill advantage seems like it's on fear. Fear does not get the last hit there. Yeah, but the lane's gonna push. This is what S4 wants, just for that range creep to be in front. No. Yep, and uh, the thing about this is that S4 is gonna get level two with the hill on his side, or with creep wave on his side of the hill. So fear can't even actually approach the lane. I want to say Ooh, one last hit for fear, and that's. That's okay, I want to say. Yeah, even just getting a last hit here or there is quite good on the Shadow Fiend. I mean, all you need is a couple, and then the next ones come easier and easier. S4, last hit under tower, and already up to two and one. Doing a pretty good job of it so far. Yeah, here comes a poison attack for Rash. Shadow Fiend gets his attack speed slowed down, so those uh, last hits become a little bit tougher as well. Shadow Fiend, again, you can see that S4 trying to zone out fear at this point, having the hill advantage. When Shadow Fiend attacks back, he's working with a mischance. Nice raise for the harass, as well as the last hit. Fear, off to a good start. 4 CS already. If Shadow Fiend has even a decent start like this, he can definitely take the match. Last game, he was just, the, Sh the Viper just completely shut down the Shadow Fiend. The one difference, we're seeing Fear use those raises just a little bit more freely the last hit. Well, I, I think S4 tried that as well last time, but he actually missed uh, those uh, raises to not actually get them the last hit. Well, so, if, you're, if you remember, he was level 2 forever, so they were level yeah, 1 Yeah, that's raises. true. <laughs> that's true. Great friend did come out as expected here, and... Uh, the Rude spawned that's... bottom, Fear did scout, he saw... Oh, Rude spawned top, he, scout, he scouted bottom, he saw it wasn't there. So he may go for a double spawn here momentarily. Yeah, S4 is going for a little bit of harass. The zoning begins here for fear. He's a lot of damage attack. taken. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like this isn't the correct build, but we'll see. Because the thing is, you can't last hit as well versus Shadow Fiend, and you can't kill him until level 5 anyway. So any amount of harassment you do, not necessarily going to be that effective. We'll see. You also have trouble getting the rune, so I personally prefer 2 points in other Toxin. Let's see if S4 can prove me wrong. Well, I mean... I guess it helps you zone out a lot better. He's he's not like he needs the last hit. Uh, he doesn't need a let metatoxin for a last hit. It feels like he's getting most of these last hits. Maybe he's proving me wrong. As fierce, yeah. got us up. Well, fear could go for that double spawn. I'm surprised he hasn't yet. Wait, he scouted the bottom rune. I think he forgot where the rune was. He his courier did, was definitely here. Did he scout the bottom rune? Yeah, I saw I saw the courier just waddling back up the lane on the bottom lane. So, fear now gonna go check that top rune. The invis will be there. Still has not been picked up. I assume we'll be going for it soon. Oh, look at that raise. Nice. Gotta be careful if you're S4. He does have that salve, but right now, Fear is coming in threatening. And uh, he does have that boot to speed, though, so... And we're very close to level 5 on S4. Just one more creep and the next wave, and that could be it. S4 has but to be careful now. He doesn't know if the SF has a rune. He saw him go bottom, he saw him go top, so he's gotta assume there's one up. And... Well, Fear isn't level 5. It's kind of hard to get a kill at level 4. You really need that level 3 raise. Yeah, I'm surprised that like, he popped the Invis right there, because if Invis is often a get-out-of-free 
jail card in a sense. Get out jail free card. Yeah, I think he just wanted the mana. And just, looks like Fear is just kind of angling to, you know, turtle this up a little bit, get get those core items, just slowly but surely lead the farm charts. S4, I mean, he's not really that head that much. Only 17 to 5. This is feeling like Fear. If you're going to win on the Shadow Fiend side, this is, all, this is the kind of start you want. Yeah, I mean, again, once the Shadow Fiend hits level 7, Viper has a very, very tough time getting that kill. So S4's got to get something happen right now, or try at level 6. Uh, here's the thing, though. Fear is out of, uh, out of bottle his, charges. His boots are coming, and that's very important. Where's the rune spawning? That's the question. S4 guesses top, and oh, he's right. S4. It's not so much more important in terms of him getting the rune, but denying it to the Shadow exactly. Fiend. Exactly, yeah. The Shadow Fiend is much more mana dependent than the Viper. The Viper, the only way you run out of mana is when you actually cast that ultimate and are just spamming poison attacks. But by that point, you either get a kill or you die, at which point things are sort of figured out. Fear is going to quickly scout that bottom rune. The one nice thing with SF is he doesn't lose as much if he's got to go get a rune generally. Oh. Uh, as, as you can push the wave a little bit harder. And uh, if it's top rune, then it doesn't really affect S4. But if it's bottom, then it's pretty much the SF's rune no matter what. S4 is still doing a very good job zoning the Shadow Fiend out. There is the ultimate online for Viper. And uh, let's see when he's going to decide to make the go. Both heroes have boots. Oh, drops a branch. <laughs> These Razors are fairly decent in terms of zoning S4 out, because S4 can't really dive being at that kind of HP against the tower, despite having the ultimate or not. So the Courage should be coming with some salves. No, it's going to be Tranquil Boots. Just as good. Oh, yeah, he's going to be healthy. He's still got a salve as well, which he could use to his advantage. That's not something Fear can do, even if he bought a salve, because you're taking that damage over time. The salve's not going to be effective versus Viper Strike and Poison Attack. So a properly timed salve by S4, it maybe in between auto attacks, could turn a fight. And with the Tranquil Boots, he's not forced to use it just yet. Fear has that TP scroll, and this is a crucial item versus Viper. If he ever goes on you, you can TP away. Now, if you're too low, he can burst you down before you can actually TP. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be real close. Not quite enough. One more auto attack, Fear gives up a first blood, but not able to do it. The thing is, Here's now, the thing, though. his TP is on you, cooldown now. Yeah, you don't, you, don't, you don't lose the game there, but you're not getting closer to winning either. That's like, true. I feel like it, even if you TP out, you're already in a very disadvantaged position. Viper gets a free lane in terms of CS or not, you're down 135 gold, and the next rune, most likely to be Vipers. <laughs> I tried to check the gold graph. That's not important. 31 to 13 for S4. I mean, and what he's doing right now is really smart. Keep on those, keep those denies coming. So even when Fear comes back, he's missed almost an entire wave of CS. And sure, he could try and last hit with the raises, but it's still difficult for him. And S4 having Tranquil Boots already, this is that crucial advantage you need to close the gap to jump the Shadow Fiend. Would like to see him go for the hill wards, just like Fear did last game. We'll have to see if he does it. Yep. He, I imagine he will. He will know that the rune is going to be bought, and it's going to be haste, and that's going to be huge. Also, Shadow Fiend, you can see that despite being, not being level 7 yet, level 5 is just as enough, pushing this creep wave. S4 is having trouble getting across the hill, and I ooh, no, he's going for the double, uh, double river wards. Yeah, interesting by Fear. He's actually not putting the enemy hill ward, but it's not as important for the Shadow Fiend. It's more for the Viper. Sure, yeah. Just to get that initial Viper strike. Still, I don't know that you need these two, but he just wants to make sure if S4 gets a rune, he knows what that rune is. Not just that he has one, but he knows which rune it is. So if it's an illusion, he doesn't sit at his tower worrying about a gank. And if it's something like a haste or an invis, he sits way the heck back. So it kind of makes sense for Fear, because if he could just sit back and not die, he could slowly but surely pull ahead. Yeah, I wonder what the Viper's path of victory is right now, because um, he's, he hit his peak. Haven't got the kill yet, because Fear's not making any mistakes. So, I'm not sure whether Asterix could win this. I don't think he can. And with Fear having a haste rune now, uh, runes can really decide these games in a big way in a lot of the matchups. In fact, in most of them. S4, look at his CS. He seems like he's really far ahead. But the other problem is, sure, Fear's getting denied a lot, but he's still got souls. I mean, you could deny a creep that doesn't take a soul away. So once you've accrued those souls, you have the plus damage. I don't know, Lumi. This might maybe be... he's just going for Blink Dagger. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that it's be... that. Nope, he's just purchased something. It's gonna be. Oh, he's going Lothar's. Ooh. I don't know if this is the item. We'll see. Well, Haste Rune is gonna secure yet another Cause... rune. The double wards very, very helpful in doing so. And God hope that the courier doesn't get seen here, because that courier could be dead. Uh oh, he might go the courier back. Good job here by S4, taking a lot of damage, and he might even be going for a kill. Viper Strike gets out. Is he going to go for a courier? Curry slow. S4 might be dead first, and the poison attack does finish him as well.
Oh, oh we've reset. we reset. He didn't kill the courier either. Wasn't able to micro the illusions there in time to pick it off. Could have. It was really close. That's the thing with Viper is you can you think that you have to fight on, but Viper is a really good man fight hero. He's got the attack speed slow on poison attack as well as on the ultimate and Nether Toxin. The lower each hero's HP gets, the better it gets for the Viper. That's why he can turn that fight around when he's sitting way low in HP. Still, you got to say first blood for fear, and he's really catching up. He's got power treads now. That's a win for him. Yeah, more gold, but that's not the important thing with the first blood. It's more EXP. He got the kill against S4. And as for, I guess, the tower and the poison attack got the kill afterwards, so he didn't get the EXP either. You see all those lasted advantage completely made up after that. Uh, but we are just one kill away, and again, it's favored towards the Shadow Fiend. His nukes are just more powerful at this point. He's got treads, so a little bit tankier there as well, but Viper very, very far away from that Lothars. I guess he could get a kill until he gets the Lothars, but so much time for Fairy to actually set up anything he wants at this point. S4, he's got the Observer Wards finally. He's realized he needs them, but it's already, the damage is done in a, in a sense. And even if you get the Shadow Blade, Fear's seen the Claymore. He knows what you're going for. If he's worried about it, he'll just plop a Sentry in the lane. And it's 1v1 mid. It's not like you can go ganking somewhere else. So sh going Shadow Blade, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I, I don't think it's the ideal choice. Because the blink, you can just surprise him and try man up. Oh, Fear uh -oh. is about to win this game. What? Oh my goodness. Rage Creep puts him at 5 HP. He's on the run. Raises up a high ground. The war misses. He misses <laughs> again. And no. Oh. GG. Fear is going to take it. 2 to 1. He is our fistful of Tango's champion. Congratulations to him. The old man does it. But Lumi himself, he pushed it. S4 really pushed him to the limit. What an impressive performance for both players. It really is. It's it's a lot funner casting these one v one than I imagined would have been. Very very thoughtful play from both players. Very very skill played, and uh, good to see both kind of different style of solo mid uh, working out differently as well. All right, guys, that wraps it up for a fistful of tangos. Ah oh, man, it's I can't believe it's finally over. We've been waiting for this for a long time. The old man is going to take the series. Fear walks home with some extra cash and establishes himself as one of the premier solo mids in the Western scene because S4 is a very strong 1v1 mid player. And, you know, a lot of people see Fear... Don't play solo mid. Yeah, he doesn't even play it. It shows you uh, just the versatility of Fear. He's the carry player, but he is a dominant mid. And he did it on a bunch of different heroes. That's the one nice thing about this tournament. We had a, quite a variety, and Fear was impressive on all of them. He does it in style. Congratulations to him. A Fistful of Tangos is over. I'm LD. He's Luminous. We're David and David. Thank you all for tuning in this weekend uh, for our weekend full of Tangos. We're done, but we will have more updates coming. We're moving to LA. We're building a studio there, and we're going to have much more updates in the future. We already hit our $25,000 goal, so now we've set some new stretch goals for those who still want to support us. $50,000 will be running a huge Asian tournament, an online event. You can read more about that over at our Kickstarter page on Indiegogo or beyondthesummit.tv is the quick way to get there. Uh, and over, uh, if we are able to hit $100,000, then we're actually going to do something similar to Home Story Cup for Dota. We'll bring in one team from Asia, one team from Europe, and at least one team from North America, the fourth team to be determined. So we hope you'll all join us for the next step of the Beyond the Summit journey. But for now, that journey is going to take a brief pit stop. We're done. Thank you for watching. LD and Luminous, signing off.